Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. Today we'll be covering the guide on how to access the actual pit of heresy, the new dungeon that came out in Destiny 2 this week. And what you need to do is you need to go to Eris and get the Deepening Wake quest. The Deepening Wake allows you to access a new public event. Well, you can do it before, but you want this quest to be able to, you know, access the Pit of Heresy. You need the Deepening Wake quest from Eris. Simply go to the Soros Harbor and you can do this new public event that requires you to basically protect certain areas of the map without having nightmares reach them. You need to open a tier 3 chest and you need to actually kill 20 nightmares. Now, this is actually really, really difficult. I would highly recommend a fire team of three, but since this event is so popular, basically, guys, just you'll see a bunch of blueberries. Hit up the Destiny 2 uh, Bungie app, and you'll easily be able to get the fire team together. People are literally farming this every single day. As for class items and stuff like that, guys, or supers, I would highly recommend not running the super that I'm using in this video. Arc Strider, while it is great for clearing ads, it is not great for killing the nightmares. You have a certain time limit to kill them, and if they breach the uh, totem that you're protecting, essentially, or the rift, whatever you want to call it, the timer will slowly start to decrease, and you know, you need, you need to have that timer keep going. So on screen right now, I've actually entailed which supers are the best for this. For the Titan, you want Weapons of Light because it's that 25% damage buff. The Hunter, you want the Tether because it stops the actual adds from moving. And Warlock, you want Chaos Reach or the Well of Radiance. Either or, I would highly recommend the Well of Radiance because a lot of people are going to be dying left, right, and center. And you want to be able to have your fire team get that survivability while you're fighting them. Now, I would highly not recommend using any other class the reason for this is because we actually had during this we ended up reaching i believe it was max tier which is tier six and unfortunately we failed it because the guy kept supering the nightmares with uh striker titan into the actual rift so it didn't really help our situation because he basically kept on inching them closer and closer and closer once you have reached at least a tier 3 and you have killed 20 nightmares, you'll get the nightmare kills as you go in this. You'll end up getting the Deepening Wake quest step updated and you can open the chest for a chance at gear. I ended up getting this brand new sniper, the Apostate, and I think it really looks kind of cool. I mean, it has lore to it, so a grade on me from Bungie. But once you do that, you want to go talk to Eris and then now the Pit of Heresy will be unlocked. So I'll just let this little cutscene play out. The hive are afraid. I can smell it. The remains of Crota's court, those who escaped your strength and my vengeance, have sequestered themselves below the surface. Their chants echo across the ascendant plain and beyond it to the realm from which the pyramids fly. You must descend into the moon's depths. Ensure that such an alliance never comes to pass. And that's it, guys. Once you complete that quest and talk to Eris and get that little cutscene there, or dialogue, top right-hand corner of the map, you will see the Pit of Heresy, which my guide for the Pit of Heresy is going to be coming out in the next few days. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor, like, comment down below, uh, subscribe if you're new. We're on track to reach 23,000 subscribers, and I appreciate that. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Do me a favor. Have a great day.